Hey guys, Blue Bear Crypto back with another video and I didn't want to make this video today and I wasn't supposed to make this video today it was supposed to be a video about checking the best mining pools for the Avalon Nano 3 yeah so I was going to make a video that was going to go over a few days where I just try mining on every possible Bitcoin solo mining pool just to see which one was the best and most consistent and um, had the least downtime because in between shares quite a lot of pools they just seem to have a bit of downtime in between every few hours or so but that didn't happen originally i was mining this on two miners it was going okay but there's there seems to be dips in the stats it just drops out for a little while i've said before i don't know whether that's because there's a lot of times when i'm just looking at this and we have the the wi-fi logo just to say it's disconnected and then it comes back on after maybe five, 10 seconds. But um, I don't know if it's that or if it's just the pool and there's just issues with it staying on the pool. Or I was also thinking it might be because of the high difficulty. It's a 500K difficulty minimum on two miners that you can connect to. And this is only doing four tower hash compared to the higher um, hash rates that bigger rigs can do. So I don't, I don't know, it could be one of those three things. I can't check the other pools because it doesn't seem to want to reliably connect to anything at the moment. So it started out with me mining on two miners. This is current stats at the moment. Um, we've had it on for over a day now, but just looking at the past, what's this, six hours? Just these drop-offs. So between 4.15 and 4.35, there was zero, zero hash rate. Same again, 5.40 to six o'clock, zero hash rate. And when you're mining, I know it's not consistent and I don't know whether this is just showing the inconsistency, but to drop to zero, like I said, I don't know. I don't know if it's normal or not. So uh, you guys let me know what you think on that one. We've been mining on this ever since I've had the Avalon Nano. So I thought what I would do is see if we can mine to a new pool. We'll try all the different pools. I'll check which one's the most reliable and then I can let you guys know what I think is the best pool to uh, mine on. And it was gonna be a video that took a long time to be fair. I, I was gonna check every single pool, just let you guys know. But the, what happened was I started mining on BitcoinCashSolarPool.org. I tried mining on this for 24 hours and I put my details in, I did everything exactly the same as I do with two miners. It was showing the miner status was fine. Uh, network status was showing fine uh, from what I can remember on the pool. It just wasn't showing. So that one didn't work, which I don't know if it's the, the pool or if it's the, I don't want to blame the pool on this because the Nano 3 seems to have a lot of issues, which I'm going to go through. That didn't work. So what I did was started mining to a new pool called Retro Mike. This is a really low um, populated sort of pool. I think there's only 20 miners on here at, at the time. Uh, stats, 20 miners working at the moment. Um, but yeah, I was mining on this. I was only getting about between one to three terahash. But solo mining on two miners, hash rate seems to be quite a bit higher. Uh, when it is actually hashing. So we got this mine in for 24 hours on Retro Mike's mining pool, Bitcoin Cash Solo. And I noticed a lot of people saying, update your Nano. If it's, It seems like they were slowly coming through with updates on people's devices. I had a look on the GY. I couldn't find anything when I went to upgrade. It didn't come up with anything. And also if I went onto the website to check, it wouldn't show anything either. The day after that, when I had a look to see if I could upgrade it, I logged in on the phone app. It showed that I could upgrade it. So I upgraded it on my phone. All is good. I went back to mining on Retro Mic. And what happened was my GUI said everything was fine and everything was hashing at a lower rate because it was on Retro Mic. But the network status just went, it was just red, it was zero. Um, so there was a problem on that. So I thought, oh, that's a bit strange. Live updated it, suddenly not working. I'll see what happens when I mine on two miners again. And so I switched it over to two miners. 
same issue, zero network status, won't work. And then I tried Z solo mining, didn't work. Tried again on Bitcoin Cash, didn't work. So I factory reset it. Went for the cheeky factory reset because it was working before. Not great, but it was still working. So I did that. I thought I was mining on retro mic. So may as well get it back on retro mic. Uh, didn't work as well. It, it, it just didn't work anymore on that one. Uh, did the same again. Tried Z miner again. Didn't work. Tried Bitcoin Cash Solo Pool. Didn't work. Tried on two miners again. And it didn't work. So I'd reset it to factory as it was before and it didn't work. And I, I didn't know what to do. Um, so I turned it off and on. I tried to see if there's like a way to reboot it manually. I, I just ended up turning it off and on a few times. The thing that did it, and I don't, this is why I don't want to change the pool again, is I changed it to retro mic again after I turned it off. Had the same issue, zero network status. And then I just changed it back to two miners. I was, I was at a point where I, I can't think what can I do now? It's just not working. And then I've got it working. It just feels so delicate. And to me, it feels like product that hasn't, gone through full testing and I'm seeing that with a lot of people that have done the upgrade they're saying that it's basically bricked the Avalon and I'm seeing a lot of people in the comments saying that they've all got issues they're having to send it back we're seeing mainly overheating issues we're seeing fans not working we're seeing just not connecting to the pools like I had it's a hundred pounds which is cheap for a miner and it's it is a nice build quality but it doesn't feel like a finished product. It feels like it's been released because of a time schedule or something like that, which is a bit sad. I was really excited to get this, but I'm kind of a bit scared to do anything with it now. Uh, and I wanted to do this video on the pools because that's a question I get all the time. What is the best pool to mine on? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, for me, it's two miners because it does not work on anything else. And I got it working on retro miner, but the the stats that I was getting and the hash rate was just lower. Um, and I don't know if that's just because retro mic has maybe lower difficulty. I'm not blaming any of the pools in this because I don't think the pools are really the problem. I think it's just this bit of kit isn't too reliable. Um, and when you compare it to something like a KS0, KS0 Pro, Ultra, yes, they've got the build quality issues and they can get hot and things like that, but you don't really see connectivity issues or they just run. And that's what that's what's so good about them. They, they're just little beasts. They just don't wanna stop running. So I've just taken this one apart and replaced everything in it. I feel like if I tried to do that on this one, it would just, I feel like it just blow up on me because it it's just it seems so unreliable. I really didn't want to make this video. I really wanted the the Avalon Nano to be just that nice bit of kit where it can heat your home and you get a bit of money from it. Or lottery miner, you could just get a big payday. Um, I haven't got a big payday yet, but obviously I can't blame the Nano for that. The chances are really low, so that that's that's not a problem. But just getting it to work, it's just a chore and. If I made any changes to it, I'd guarantee that it's just not going to work and I'd have to spend hours trying to make it work. I don't even know I don't even know what I did to get it working. I just switched it from pool to pool to pool to pool, turned it off and on a few times, switched to pool to pool again and then it started working. But there's no there wasn't a consistent thing that got it working. So, I have no idea and I'm not going to take it off two miners anymore because it's running. At least I know it's working. But yeah, I don't know guys, I'm looking forward to the next piece of kit that I can buy so I can just move on to something else which is a bit more reliable because this isn't it. I'd have to say at the moment I'm not really uh, recommending the Avalon Nano 3 which is sad because I like the idea of a, a cheap little miner that can get people into crypto but it's not too complicated to learn and understand and get set up and it isn't too hard to or complicated to understand or set up but when you're having these issues and you, and I don't know what's actually sorted the issue out yeah it's hard to say that it's a good it's a good um, buy when you could just get something up you could just buy one of these and yeah even though Casper's hash rate isn't gonna be the best thing for the future but I feel like you're more likely to get your money back on something like this than a Nano 3. Obviously what they make is completely different and the prices are completely different but 
Like I said, I'm just a bit scared to do anything with it now. That's all I've got to say on this one. Um, yeah, thanks for listening, guys. Let me know what you uh, you guys have experienced with yours. Like I said, there's been a good few problems people have been talking about. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's just get them all in the comments because to send something back, uh, I feel like it it's just a long process. Even if the customer services is great, I'm not too sure. I never got a, a response on the ticket that I raised originally when it did first die on me. It just feels like such a long process to get it back. I don't know if it would go back directly to Singapore because I think that's where they ship from, but yeah. Or I think it might have shipped from China. I'm not too sure. I think they're based in Singapore, but yeah. On to the next one, guys. Let's move on to something a bit more interesting. See you in the next one. Hey guys, Blue Bear Crypto back with another video. Today we are changing the mining pool that we're running on for the Avalon Nano 3. Hey guys, Blue Bear Crypto back with another video. Today we are going to be upgrading this.